somebody Help, not just anybody Help, you know I need someone Welcome to Goalie Boogie's video tutorial where I will teach you how to create an object, clone the object, give it an interaction, and mostly let your imagination run wild. Uh, to start off, I will be cloning an object. Um, so you're going to want to have Sim 3 OC or Object Cloner. You can find it on Mod Sims. Uh, so you're going to hit cloning, and you can choose whatever object you want to clone, but it's kind of pointless to give any of the other ones a uh, interaction, so we will just click on normal objects. Uh, you need to wait while the object is cloning, and then you're going to be finding the object you want to use. Uh, for this tutorial, we will be using the toy stuffed animal teddy bear. You're going to hit over here, there's a clone or fix button. You're going to click that, change uh, to a specific name. This is pretty good. Um, also, you can change the catalog name. The yeah, name is going to show up in the catalog, its description, and its price. As well, you can uh, change the flags that will appear, un appear under, and any function or build flags as well. When you're done with all that, you can hit start, and it will clone your object, and make it a package. Um, it should pop up with the package file inside the Sims 3 folder. If not, that's where you're going to want to put it. Um, so, save the file and it will save and load your object. Once your object has been cloned, you're going to want to open up Sims 3 PE, which can also be found on the Sims, or Mod the Sims. Uh, so go ahead and open up your new package that you saved. And you're going to want to open, or you're going to look for the OBJK uh, tag for the object. It will tell you all about the object's needs. Uh, what you're going to want to do is open up the grid, and for component data, you want to hit these three little dots all the way in the top right. Uh, you're going to go ahead and go down to the second item on the list, and um, for data, it has a nice name of what we're going to be using later. So go ahead and copy that, which will be used for later, and you can close these files and be prepared. Okay, if I close the file, there you go. And then, now what we're going to do is uh, get some DLL files, which we'll be using for later. So go ahead and open up the, the Sims, go to the Sims 3, main folder, go under game, and then to bin, and then these three files are where we're going to be using. So I'm going to or I'm going to start out by opening gameplay. Uh, there are four files here, we're going to be only using three of them. If you come down to value and look under manifest module, it will tell you what the name of the file is. We will not be using the test gameplay DLL file, so you can go ahead and close this and go on to the next file. Uh, in the manifest module, uh, click click and copy the DLL file name, uh, and then close that, and then hit grid. Go ahead and export this. Uh, I'll just do it to the desktop, but somewhere where you can find it later, and paste the name you copied, and then save it. And then close that out, and keep going on to the next ones in the list. And uh, to save time, I'll not be doing the rest of them, but you're going to want to do the rest of them, as well as the other ones that are found in the Sims 3 uh, main folder. Um, there is one f other file that you will not be using inside the SimCore file. Um, the name of it is the mscorelib.dll, which is not that one. But just so you can see it, it's not that one either. So it's this one. We will not be using that as well as it is already found inside the uh, Visual Studio, which we'll be using later. Now that we have finished that section, we're going to open up uh, Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2008 Express Edition. Uh, it's a free program that can be found. Uh, just try Googling it. So we're going to go File, uh, New Project, do a Class Library Project. So open that up. And to start off, we need to save the file so we can change properties. So save Class Library as. Uh, give it a name. Um, I'll give it Tutorial. And save that file. Uh, what you're going to do now is going to go to Project, Tutorial Properties, or the name of your file, Properties. You're going to want to change the uh, net framework of the project from whatever it is, mine's 2.5, down to 2.0. This will make it usable. Uh, go ahead and open up the thing, the CS file. And now in this file, we're going to be removing the references over here, as they will not, they are not used from the Sims. So go ahead and select them, right-click, and click remove and allow them to be removed. Now 
Now we're going to import those references that we've already made. So right click on the references, add reference, um, go and find the files, the DLL files under browse file. So go and find those files that we just took off from the packages. Um, go ahead and select all of those, add them in, um, and they will load the references which will be used for later. Alright, now we will be going into the uh, coding part of the tutorial. We're going to start off by removing the using things up here as they're either used by net, uh, other net frames or not used by the sims. We're going to go ahead and give our name class a descriptive name. Um, how about just your name followed by mod. And in the public class we'll use a descriptive name of what the object's going to be. So I'm going to be making a teddy that says hello, so might as well call it Talking Teddy. Now here's where that file name comes in from the OBJK file. You're going to go ahead and hit semicolon followed by a space and paste that file name or retype it. You notice that this object's name is blue and it says it's coming from the sims3.gameplay.objects.miscellaneous. So we can actually erase that part of it and you notice it is you know turned black to black but uh, if you right click on it, go to resolve and click on the using sims3.gameplay.objects.miscellaneous it will now, uh, one of these reference files will now appear up there. And so now instead of having to type that all that out followed by stuffed animal, we can just type stuffed animal. Now as this tutorial is adding the interaction and not actually going over the code, um, I will not be going over the code, but it's best to learn uh, your own time or by using Redgate's uh, reflector and opening the DLL files and uh, seeing how EA actually does the interactions and um, corresponds with the rest of the objects. Um, I'm going to be looking at the stereo on off function as it is a uh, uh, an automatic uh, interaction that does not require the sim to walk over to it and then I will also be using other things as uh, like something that gives a tip or you know to tell you hello and this part of the coding thing will give you allow your imagination to run wild as you can create multiple things that you know uh, people have made a painting that causes fires and blows up the whole house and so it's all up to you um, I will for the space of time I will just be posting all my code you can find it on the uh, mod the sims forum under my tutorial